Hello, this is Ed Crowley with Master Meadows. Um, we're here today. We've just moved our uh, strip graving, grazing fence. Uh, if you look at it here, get on the outside of this and walk because we have a ram in this field that we got. You want to be careful of when you're breeding. But you can see I've just moved it, moved the fence. So we're on a new strip of grass. Uh, we're moving about 90 feet per strip. So once a week, we move 90 feet. Here you can see, if you walk over here, you'll start to see where the old strip was. And you can see a difference. As you look here, this is the new grass, stockpiled fescue. You see over here is the old grass that we've, that they've ate down pretty well. Now, I moved it a little sooner than I planned. Um, it's kind of hard. This this field at this end is not a square. So my calculations were probably off, but we'll see how it goes this next week. But about 90 feet um, should be about right. I didn't move it quite 90 feet this week because we do have a fair bit of grass still in uh, this prior section. But you can see we've got our water source here, which is a pond. You see our good livestock guardian dogs, uh, Samson and Izzy sitting here. And then we have the section we just grazed and then we just open up the next section. And down here you can see we have two rolls um, of wire, uh, actually it's rope, Intella rope is what it's called, the name brand, we got it from Premier. But on two reels that goes up uh, over, over the hill here. So, uh, we, we, I went to, uh, the, uh, grazing school put on by N NRCS, incredibly valuable, highly recommend it. But the, um, uh, you can see we've got a pretty large field here that we've got stockpiled for the winter. I'm hoping we get through about a month, a month and a half here. And, um, we, before setting this up, before moving the fence, I came in, measured, did the measurements using a field stick, uh, measured how many uh, tons uh, or pounds of hay we had versus how many sheep were grazing uh, and calculated how many feet we needed to move it today. So that's, that's what we're doing. Now we're attaching it to our high tensile fence here. You can see this. We run on our interior fences, a four strand high tensile fence. We're running that fence at about 10,000. Uh, watch right now so it has some oomph to it of course it is turned off for the moment because when i'm moving the fence i just don't like to try to take a chance on it amazing though the sheep just stood over here until i moved the fence as soon as i moved the fence they came running over to this section just uh as you can see as happy as could be so uh this is ed crowley from mr meadows uh in the heart of those arc islands wishing you a great week